Look, Sugar got a gift for us. Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins to another video. Uh, this video today is going to be about everything that we have in stock. We have a shipment coming in from China Friday. Kevin's going to pack it up, probably have it on Monday. And there's a lot of, not a lot of fish, but there's a lot of cool stuff. We have stingrays, we have uh, short body cowberries. Actually, he sent me a picture right here. I'll put it up, or maybe up this way. Now, let's go over everything we have in stock. stock probably like the fish that I know I can get it again um, and I'll bring you along this video oh my god this damn phone every damn video sorry wait let me just answer real quick predatory fins come here hi you said uh, no, we only mainly do like larger fish, but have you tried calling like Barrier Reef down the street? They, they do, I've seen they have a shrimp there before. Okay, you're welcome. Shrimp, I wish I, if I put a shrimp in our tanks, it would get sucked in by the overflow. All right, so we have a lot of like um, larger platinum red tails. <coughs> I only need one. I'm trying to empty out this tank as much as I can because I have some fish. Buddy, I'm making a video, bro. These people got to watch it. If they don't watch it, I can't. I don't have money to feed you. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Go play with your sister. Go. So, the black and red tails. Um, I have an Indian tiger shovel nose in there. Most likely one of the larger vinyl clowns because I already have one. Also have... A semi, or a pretty short body, platinum red tail right there. And these fish are really big. So you definitely need a pond to put them in. Uh, tiger shovel nose. Sheila's on the way. Not Sheila. Oh, the fat buckle. Okay, and over here, I have some fish that I was growing out for myself. But since we're doing something else in this tank, which is a little secret for you guys, but for everyone, I'm gonna be selling the saltwater raid is full fresh water. The armadas, and the armadas is about nine, 10 inches already. This monster goonch right here. This guy has gotta be, let me take a good look. I say 16, 15, 16 inches. So those are for sale. I have a big wall ago as well that I've been raising. He's gonna be for sale, he's here somewhere. And we're gonna put them all on the website. Uh, a lot of these rays, guys, if you're trying to breed rays or get into the, the hobby, like this is a beautiful male. I also have this beautiful female here. So we're gonna sell some of them. We're not gonna sell all, just some of them, because the other ones are gonna go into that tank. <clears throat> Other fish that are here, that I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna keep the orange gar, the white gar. He's been with me for so long, I really don't wanna let him go. But the problem is, if I put the fish I want in this tank, 
dogs are unpredictable. They might do things overnight where you don't know it's gonna happen. So the short body and the platinum are going to go, but he's gonna stay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the white peacock that's over there into this tank. Uh, some of the rays and the white turtle. So like this is gonna be our show tank, our monster tank. And I have a different plan for this tank right here, which I'm not gonna talk about it yet, okay? It'll, I'll, it'll happen when I come back. By the way, on my last video, I said if I get 5,000 likes, I was gonna go to Brazil for 10 days to the Amazon, okay? And I'll take you guys along as well. Unfortunately, Lisa's not going because I don't want her to not come back. If you are from South America, you understand what I'm saying. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, so what we have in stock is we still got a couple of flag tails. A couple of flag tails. Stingrays, we have a bunch of little baby stingrays. They're all on the website already, right, babe? Yep. All right, so we have all the stingrays. I have this guy right here that I don't want to sell, but I, we've been raising him since it was like three inches. That's a uh, Humpala Barb. He's about eight inches now, doing really, really good, eating pellets and everything. I'm not 100% sure about him yet, but we have some platinum red tails back there. They're all 12 to 16 inches, uh, and we do payment plans on them. We have these guys, the albino arrow barbs. <coughs> Let's see, we have six of the larger black hair wannas left. I like that camera move you just did. Smack it into the wind, does it? No, you did like a cool like. Oh, I hit, I hit the thing. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that part. This is all feeder fish, healing fish. We got some tiger shovel noses over here. These guys, I mean, they're a good size. Probably like seven inches, I would say. We got three of the spotted pikes left. And as you guys see, we're emptying out a lot of tanks because we have shipments coming in. Plus, if I end up leaving, I don't want to leave the place with a lot of fish with Lisa exactly. taking care of it. Because the place I'm going, guys, if I do go, there's no cell phone service. Like, we're literally going to go. There's no even electricity. We're going to have to take, stay by a generator. And uh, my buddy was saying that 12 o'clock at night, the lights go off, everything goes off, and that's it. That's it. Uh, we still have a decent amount of jelly cats. I'll go over that one. They're about four to eight inches long. And they're actually, these guys are pretty cool. They'll eat, if you like catfish, and you wanna see a big catfish, these guys get really big like a red tail. And they have like this crazy looking face on them. Like a rock. Right, but don't put them next to smaller fish because that fish is gonna be gone. Over here we have a hybrid. Actually, he's a customer of ours. Oh, it is? Yep, he's trying to sell him. Uh, he's about a foot. Um, oh, another fish that I have, babe. Sugar, you follow me? That I didn't want to sell, but I'm going to have to sell because we don't have time. I don't have time or space to grow fish out anymore. It's right here. It's that, um, look how big he got already. It's the red umby. Uh, it's dark. And this guy is so nice, man. Some sugar in the reflection. I'm still debating. I'm still debating. Because I have two of those. That's mine, and I have another one that I want to sell, but I might have to let mine go as well. <clears throat> we have these um, short body snooks. And if any of you guys out there have a nice tank for this ugly fowl horn, let me know. We can work something out. Okay, um, these are butterfly, tiger, tilapia, okay, yes. Um, okay, this is another thing. Everybody asks me for gulpers. We bring the gulpers. Now I have four left. So if you want a gulper, there's one bigger one and three smaller ones. That's your chance, because I don't know when the next time we're gonna get another gulper. We also have um, a pair. No. Might have to camera. Oh, you're doing that first? Yeah. We're up here too. Well, go okay, you're the boss. I don't, I don't, I don't complain. That's a female black diamond. She's really pretty. A Chinese perch. He's still healing up. A red nose guard. I mean, <laughs> a red, a broken nose red guard. That's what I meant. Uh, different plecos. Now, got a lot of little, smaller blue eye plecos. They look really cool. These guys are eating really good. Um, pallets. 
or cucumbers. But basically it's two really large blue-eyed pleco, a full spotted pleco, and a watermelon. And uh, an albino right here as well. So for these plecos, if you're interested in one of them, you know their prices, you know, some of them, like the blue eyes are not cheap. Just send me an offer and we'll work something out. These little guys are yellow Kelberry hybrids with monos. And then <coughs> I believe over here we have a pair of, um, right there, a pair of Johanna Pikes. And these are Lenticulata Pikes. No. Yes. No, not Lenticulata. Sorry, half bender yeah. pike. Good, good work, Lisa, good work. That's why I married you. Um, albino Pacus, regular Pacus, up here. These are the short body barbs. And they're big too, they're good size. Geophagus, what, what are their names? This is the gold, uh, striped Geophagus. And that one, Pellegrini. Something with the M, Mappa something. I never seen one that big. It's the only one big. left, yeah. Yeah, so he's doing really, really good. Uh, actually, I, oh, I gotta talk, I gotta call a friend, a friend of mine. He might take him. Uh, we got some really nice size blue masseurs, some parrots, decent sizes. I got a smaller one over here and some convict hybrids. What is these, Texas? Green Texas? Yeah, green Texas cichlid. Green Texas cichlid. Various sizes in here. Uh huh. These are the Severums. Different Severums. Yeah, various Severums. This guy right here looks like he got into a fight, but we'll, we'll film them later. Uh, again, guys, all these fish are on the website, so if you want to see something, it will be there. Now, I really do not want to sell this guy, but I might have to because I'm letting go of a lot of fish that I don't have time to grow anymore. And you can see, look at the difference of a regular Tiger Shovel Nose and the white one. Just beautiful fish. If you want Tiger Shovel Nose, larger. larger. We have a couple left. A few albino, wow, the albino clown was really sold out, huh? Yesterday. Awesome, so we have four left. The Sarawini sold. We got the albino arrow barbs that I showed before. Up here, we have, look, all these tanks are empty. So when I come back, it's gonna be go time again. We have a couple dead noise there, all three bars. Um, I think their colors like this because they're stressed out. Or oh, maybe they, the colors come out when it's better when they're stressed out. But I feel bad, they, they're really just sitting there. This tank is not the proper tank for them. <coughs> We're probably gonna have to move into a bigger tank. I might have to sell my short body albino sturgeons. It's gonna probably be almost impossible to find them again. I didn't want to sell them, but right now the only fish I'm truly keeping for myself are like going to be the monster ones. Everything else, uh, with the renovation and all the stuff we're doing, I'm not going to have time for them. I have one hybrid catfish that's over probably like 16 to 18 inches. Uh, high fin marble cara. And did we do the silvers, babe? No. We got a bunch of silvers. They're all like the wild caught from Colombia. We had over a hundred of them, sold a lot. There's probably like 40 left. But these are really, really high quality silvers. And then I also have a monster sized African lungfish here, which they were actually really cool. I, I, I wish somebody would take them and put them in a nice tank. But see, I can't put them in my monster tank because that's like noodles for those fish. Anything else? No, we showed it all, right? Yeah. You guys ready to go home? Ready? All right, gotta take the dogs out. Guys, all these fish that you saw, they're at, at predatoryfins.com. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Oh, come on, that's not the channel for this, bro. What are you doing? That's your sister. All right, cut. Let's just go. These dogs are crazy. <laughs>